You were in a fight, James, for nearly three hours. How does that even happen without any breaks, without you know any what? drinks? <clears throat> Two hours, 47 minutes, that fight was. The issue with that fight was, you know, um, I respect that young man. I respect that young man for taking that fight. It was good. But the training I'd done for that fight was... Uh, it may sound stupid, stupid to people that's listening to this, but what it was, when I trained for that fight, I didn't train like a boxer. I trained like a fighter, meaning that when I used to go into the boxing club and we all do a three-minute bags and three-minute skipping and three-minute three minute shadow boxing and all that, no, I would do a minute boxing, stop for 30 seconds. I would do eight minutes on the bags, take a break. I would do 12 minutes, I'd do four minutes, and I would do the same in rounds. I would do a 12-minute round, six-minute round, four-minute round. So I was training my body not to be wait for that 15-second bell at the end of the three minutes. So my body didn't know when, and my mind didn't know when this fight was going to stop. And that's what, that's what I try to work out was sometimes I'd, I'd do shadow boxing for half an hour. Sometimes I'd do shadow boxing for an hour and 20 minutes. I'd do the bags for 30 minutes. Uh, not where you see the kids and, and young lads doing it now. to do three minutes and three minutes and all that. And that means that you know in the last 10 or 15 seconds that you're taking that break. And then you got your minute break or whatever. I, I wouldn't. I, I train my, my seven away that I, just, I don't know when this fight's stopping. And that's, that's the way it worked out. Two hours, five, seven minutes. We had no breaks, no, no rounds, no water, no nothing. It was tough. It was tough. He was a tough young lad at the time. Yeah, he must have been tough. Though, it was tough. And it was, it was one of the hottest days of the year as well. Yeah. So how do you deal with that then? Because that just doesn't come down to endurance. That comes mental strength. What are you thinking then when it's going to after an hour, two you've, hours? You've got to, you know, it's all down to being hit and not be hit. It's all down to working it in a way where you, um, you've just got to work out your counter punching, work out your jabs, work out your distance, work out, you know, get yourself comfortable, get yourself comfortable and get yourself settled in because you know, some fights you know you're in there for the long haul. Some fights are not a five minute fight. Sometimes you know because when you make your move on him, he's way back, he's gone. So you know you've got to chase him all around. So you just set yourself in and let it, let it take its course.